let's take a look at a reflection of waves. Uh, when waves hit a barrier, like if I make a sound wave and talk, the sound hits the wall and bounces back. How does it back come back? What are the properties? Well, we can look at waves. If I send a crest or a trough, I want to see what happens to that. A wave is made up of a crest and a trough, but I'm just going to look at one part of it so that we can see clearly what happens when the wave hits something. There are two types of things a wave can hit. One's called a fixed end, and we draw it like this with these lines, as if I tied a rope or a spring to a wall and I sent a crest down and hit the wall, what would come back? An open end or free end is when the wave travels to something where it's free to move. Uh, for example, a sound wave traveling through a, a column of air in a tube, when it gets to the other end, if the other end of the tube is capped, then that's a fixed end. The wave can't get out of there, it reflects back in. But an open end, the wave is free to travel into the air from the inside of the tube. So we have a fixed end or an open end. What I want to know is what comes back if a crest hits a fixed end, what are its properties when it comes back? If a crest goes to an open end, what are its properties when it comes back? This one's easy to do. I can take a spring and have someone hold it and send a crest by vibrating it like that and see what comes back. This one's harder to do because I'd have to tell the other person, don't hold the end of the spring, let it move. And that's difficult to do and stretch the spring. But I've got a piece of equipment that can show both of these fairly clearly. So I'm going to show it to you now and then come back and talk about it. Okay, this apparatus will demonstrate the wave. This is a crest. This is a trough. And I want to see what happens when a crest or a trough hits a fixed end. So for fixed end, I'm going to hold this, and so this won't be able to move over here. So I'm going to send a crest down. And you can see what comes back is a trough. If I sent a trough, I would get back a crest. Now I'm going to leave this as an open end. That means the wave is free to move this part of the wave apparatus. So I'm going to send a crest and see what comes back. It's a little hard to tell, but another crest comes back. When a crest hits a fixed end, it comes back as a trough. Which means also when a trough hits a fixed end, it comes back as a crest. Whatever the wave does, it comes back as the opposite. When something comes back and it's the opposite, we call it out of phase. Out of phase. In the other example, a crest went to an open end. What came back was another crest. So if a trough went back, to, went to an open end, it would come back as a trough. When something comes back and it looks the same as what it was like before, we call that in phase. So what you got to know, there are fixed ends and open ends. Uh, when a wave hits a fixed end, it comes back out of phase. When a wave hits an open end, it comes back in phase. As far as out of phase and in phase, you can imagine two people on swings sitting beside each other. As they're swinging, if they're swinging the same time and the same way, they would be in phase. If the two people are swinging and they're doing the opposite thing, one's going up while one's going down the other way, then that would be considered out of phase. You could also have the two people swing slightly out of phase. One's a little bit ahead of the other. So that is an example of in phase and out of phase.